Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. This is your Week in Tech. Let's take a look at some of this week's investment news. Software provider Athena landed £2 million in funding from Mel Morris, the entrepreneur behind the game Candy Crush. The firm said it will use the funds to accelerate growth in the UK and Australia, plus expand to the US, Germany and France. The Centre for Acceleration of Social Technology received £1.12 million from the Big Lottery Fund to spread the use of digital technology among UK charities. Low Carbon Investment Strategy Specialist ET Index Research raised £1.13 million and Edinburgh-based ad analytics firm TV Squared secured $3 million. By far the largest funding round of the week, and the year so far, was the Series E raised by Deliveroo. The on-demand food delivery service bagged $275 million in a round led by Bridgepoint. This brings the London-based firm's total funding to more than $400 million. Founded in 2013, Deliveroo now operates in 84 cities across 12 countries and plans to expand even further. Overseas, American retail giant Walmart announced its acquisition of e-commerce site Jet.com. Walmart will hand over more than $3 billion as part of the deal, plus up to $300 million in shares. This is Walmart's biggest step yet in its bid to compete against Amazon in the world of digital commerce. Our download of the week is the GoFantastic app by Fantastic Services, offering everything from domestic cleaning to pest control and rubbish removal to pet care. The app claims to enable users to book their desired service in under 30 seconds. Simply select the service you want, fill in a few details, check the price and book a slot that suits you. And finally, your days of tiresome hoovering may be over. Dyson's iRobot vacuum cleaner has launched in the UK after extensive trials in Japan. Retailing at £800, the vacuum will do all the hard work while you put your feet up and relax. Sounds good to me. That's it for this episode of The Week in Tech. For more technology news, take a look at our homepage and follow us on Twitter.